Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to share with you guys an all new list of top iOS 8 Cydia tweaks for every iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad model running any iteration of iOS 8 up to the latest public firmware, which as of recording this video is iOS 8.1.2. All right, so to start off, you will need to be jailbroken. So if you have yet to jailbreak your device, just be sure to navigate to my channel. If you're on the main page for this video, click my channel name down below. Once you're there, you can find tutorials for every version of iOS 8. And once you're jailbroken, come back to this video for five of the best Cydia tweaks for iOS 8 up to 8.1.2. And this video is going to be relatively short because I am going to release part two next week. So in total, there will be 10 awesome free Cydia tweaks that you guys can install on your device without having to add any of the repositories. So they will all be on default repos. And with that said, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Up first, we have a tweak called round dock. You may have already noticed it. As you can see, the corners of my dock are rounded. It's also slightly smaller than the entire screen. So it gives a really nice effect. I really like this tweak and it works especially well in conjunction with the next tweak called dock color. So let me open up the settings app here and inside of the dot color pane for settings you have a few different options I'm just going to enable it and then from there you can select a color you have so many different options you can even input a hex code if you know the exact color that you want ahead of time and I'm going to go ahead and just select red so I already have it selected down here we have red I'm going to bring up the alpha so that it is more apparent let's go ahead and bring up the alpha it's kind of hard to grab this one here but now that it is up I'm going to go back and we're going to bring down the overall alpha so that way it is somewhat transparent so let's bring it down a little bit I'm going to leave it at about 7.1 and then apply the changes it will respring and I'll be right back all right, so let's go ahead and unlock the iPhone here. And as you can see, the dock is red. It's somewhat transparent because we did bring down the overall alpha, but as you can see, it looks really nice, especially with the rounded corners and the background. You can kind of see it through the dock itself. So it looks really great. Again, you can pick any color. Red is definitely not the best choice in this case, but I just wanted to pick a color that you guys would easily be able to see and distinguish between the background. So as you can see, that's dock color. All right, and up next we have an awesome tweak called folder icons. I'm really starting to like it. I've taken the liberty of setting two of them up. I also changed the dot color to something that's a little easier to view as well. But anyway, for folder icons, essentially when you enter the edit mode on your device's home screen, now you have these new little gear icons up in the top left hand corner of the icons for your folders. And let me show what happens when you tap on one. So when you go into it, it gives you this new interface. From here, you have the option to set the background, the foreground, and then you can hide and show either the thumbnails, labels, or the badges. And you can even go beyond that and you can add your own custom foreground and backgrounds. When you tap on the eye, it tells you the exact file path so you can add different PNGs to that folder there. And then from there, you can add your own custom background and foregrounds. But I'm just going to go with what it gives you by default. Fault, I'm going to show you guys exactly what it is. So when you tap inside of the background here, you have a few different options. Like I said, you can completely customize this and add your own backgrounds, but let's just go ahead and go with the purple one for now. And for the foreground, let's pick something that will be easily apparent. Let's just go with the gold star here. And then from there, when you tap out of it, it instantly applies. So as you can see, we now have our all new folder with folder icons. It works really well. I absolutely love it. It's a great tweak and I definitely recommend it, especially because you can completely customize it to your liking when adding your own custom images. Again, keep in mind, you can also hide the thumbnails, the labels, and the badges. So when you hide the labels and the thumbnails and the badges, as you can see, it now just gives you the foreground, the background, and kind of an icon view there. So that's folder icons. Up next, we have system-wide predictive text. This is another one that I'm really starting to like. When you install it, you don't have any options. It just just enables predictive text system-wide as the name would suggest. So as you can see inside of Spotlight here, I now have these three different options for predictive text, something that I normally wouldn't get inside of Spotlight. And when I go to type in remote, you'll notice that it gives me a suggestion here. So as you can see, I now have remotely or remote. So let's go ahead and just tap on remotes. And as you can see, it does fill in remotes there. So it enables system-wide predictive text. It works everywhere. There are no options to configure. It just enables predictive text everywhere. And now next we have something called full NC. Let me open up City and show you guys exactly what it is. 
So full NC is a tweak that's best described inside of the Cydia listing. As you can see, it says that it increases the lines or words that appear when you receive a notification inside of Notification Center to 20 lines instead of the default four lines. This is incredibly useful and helpful in my opinion. I definitely have a use for it, and if you're like me and you receive longer notifications, I think you'll really enjoy full NC. All right, and that wraps up this video, guys. Part one of my list of top 10 free Cydia tweaks for the iOS 8 through 8.1 point x untethered jailbreak and if you guys want to be notified when i release part two of course just be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have yet to do so click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you're on the main page for this video and for an additional 49 cydia tweaks that i absolutely love for ios 8 just be sure to check out my continually updated top cydia tweaks for iOS 8 playlist. It also contains one of my absolute all-time favorites being Apex 2, which I just love. So again, just be sure to check out that playlist. I will have a link to it on the screen now via an annotation form if you're on the desktop version of YouTube. So it is crucial that you view this video on desktop. Again, just be sure to stay tuned for part two in this series. And if you guys liked it and found it helpful, just be sure to rate it up and leave a comment down below in the comment section. And if you're interested in earning paid apps, gift cards, and bigger electronic devices, just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or simply free app life .com inside of mobile safari after tapping download if you're on ios 8 press the home button open the app and download and install the temporary secure profile which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware it's actually never even fully installed on your device as it's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated from there simply download sponsored apps for points refer friends for even more and redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes all right guys that's it for this video stay tuned for part two as well as my upcoming iphone 6 and iphone 6 plus giveaway and if you guys want to be updated more often such as when i release new top tweaks videos or really anything related to jailbreaking or the forthcoming apple watch just be sure to like me on facebook and follow me on twitter and until next time this is icu signing out